Let's look at the Islamic sources and talk about Muhammad's marriage to a Jewish female war captive. Now, as I mentioned, Muhammad married Sophia shortly after he had her husband executed. It's even more shocking to find out that Muhammad was also responsible for the execution of her father and brother. We read in the History of At-Tabari, volume 39, page 185, quote, While the Prophet was lying with Sophia, Abu Ayyub stayed the night at his door. When he saw the Prophet in the morning, he said, God is the greatest. He had a sword with him. He said to the Prophet, O Messenger of God, this young woman had just been married, and you killed her father, her brother, and her husband, so I did not trust her not to harm you. The Prophet laughed and said, Good. So it seems even Muhammad's companions were questioning such a marriage, and they feared for his safety, as no woman in her right mind would love a man who was responsible for the execution of her own family members. In fact, in one narration, it states that Sophia actually hated Muhammad. In a book called Dala'ilu Nubuwa by Imam al bayhaqi volume 4, page 230, we read, quote, قَالَتْ وَكَانَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ مِنْ أَبْغَدِ النَّاسِ إِلَيْ قَتَلَ زَوْجِي وَأَبِي فَمَا زَالَ يَعْتَذِرُ إِلَيْ Which means, Sophia said, I hated the Messenger of Allah more than any of the people. He had killed my husband and my father, therefore he kept apologizing to me. Now you may be wondering how Sophia's husband was killed. Well, as grotesque and as shocking as it will seem, Muhammad had her husband Kinana brutally tortured by using fire and then he was beheaded. How do you feel about Muhammad's behavior? Do you honestly think that a woman whose husband, brother and father were just killed would within a couple of days or so voluntarily choose to marry and have sex with the same man who was responsible for the deaths of her family members. I ask you to think hard